Well, hello, Facebook family and friends, um, YouTube family and friends. Uh, this is Dr. Leon McRae from Lighthouse. Just want to um, talk to you a little bit today. I want to really encourage you, uh, particularly with all that's going on with uh, life, the coronavirus, and um, you know the situation we find ourselves in. But regardless of where you are, where you are at, um, I know this: that our God is still on the throne. And uh, my condolences uh, to you that have lost uh, family and loved ones. Those of you that are hurting uh, economically and, you know, just really going through a tough time, uh, my prayers are with you. And uh, our church family, is, uh, our prayers are with you. So um, please be encouraged. I just uh, want to share a couple things with you. Uh, what I want you to think about is this. You know, as we look at the signs of the times and we see what's going on, there's a lot of fear. Uh, there's a lot of um people discouraged and so forth. But as Kingdom Sons and Daughters, we don't have to subscribe to that 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 thought process. We don't have to subscribe to the fear that a lot of others are feeling. And so what I want to talk to you today uh, by way of title is thriving with kingdom economics in the midst of the perils of coronavirus. Let me say that again. Thriving with kingdom economics through the perils of this coronavirus crisis or situation that we're going through. How many know that, you know, man has a plan, but God has a plan. And, you know, I, I do know this, that this is no shock to God. God has a plan and he has a way of escape. He has... I mean, he has good things for his people, and he wants his people to be in position to not only go through this, but thrive through this, because there's a other side of this coronavirus. Amen? And so that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. And so I, I just want you to think about this. If you knew that you were going to survive this coronavirus um, crisis that we're going through, would you be doing anything differently? What would your throat process be if you knew you were going to survive? And secondly, if you knew you were going to survive the economic challenges of this coronavirus situation, what would you be doing differently? What would your thought process be if you knew you were going to survive 100% you knew it just really want you to think about that so with those things in mind uh i i, I you know i want to say this because you know i i believe god has given me some insight and for such a time as this and i i want to speak an apostolic word to you, and I do mean you, I want to let you know apostolically that you will survive this. Health-wise, the challenges of coronavirus, and you're going to survive economically through this coronavirus situation. You're going to survive. Those of you that are under the sound of my voice, let me let you know that this day, on the 16th of April, 2020, apostolically, I am declaring and decreeing as a man and an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will survive health-wise and economically through this coronavirus situation. So let's, let's set the stake and let's set the marker. And we are now declaring the end from the beginning. So we know this as a baseline that you're going to survive through the power of God. And we know that and we believe that by faith. When is faith? Faith is always right now. And so you have to believe that. I'm trying to encourage. I want to encourage you 
as sons and daughters of the Most High, as kingdom sons, kingdom daughters, that you are going to survive. You see, our hope is in Christ. And we have to have faith not only in uh, in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but we have to have faith in his written word. And we have to stand on his word and know beyond a shadow of doubt that we're going to survive. And not only survive, but we're going to thrive. There are too many with the mindset that you just want to survive. Just let me survive. Just let me survive. No, that's not good enough. I want you to thrive in this season that we're going through. You know, uh, this past Sunday, we celebrated Resurrection Sunday. Well, Resurrection Sunday, a lot of people are celebrating Easter and so forth. But we as Kingdom Sons and Daughters, we are celebrating a resurrected Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. So he came to this earth. He died. Went to hell, conquered death, hell, and the grave. And on the third day, he rose from the dead with all power in his hand. And that power, he's given it to us as kingdom sons and daughters. He's given that to you. And I'm talking to you because I really want to encourage you. I want you to know who you are and that you're going to position yourself to thrive through this situation. One thing I want you to know is this. As a kingdom sons and, and daughter, you were made for such a time as this. But why? Because you are made in the image of God and you are made in the likeness of God. God has declared that you are blessed. And when, say, and when God says you bless, you bless. And so you have to know that you have to believe that by faith. OK, why? Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. So we all have um, we have the measure of faith. To believe that and know without a shadow of a doubt that God has this and he has us. Okay? And so that power he has given to us. All right? And so we have to move. We have to operate with that kind of knowing. Why? Because we're spirit beings. And see, not only that, um, that Jesus conquered death, hell, and the grave, you know, that means it, 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 he did a finished work on the cross. It was a finished work. You know, he made the exchange for us. You know, he exchanged his life for our life. I, he exchanged his sinless nature for our sins. Okay. And so he, he exchanged our poverty. Okay. For us to have an opportunity to, to be rich. And he exchanged his sickness that will be the heel of God. So by every strike that Jesus bore on the cross, every drop of blood that he shed, we are the heel of God. So we are not to worry about coronavirus. Why? Because we are the heel of God. And we are everything that the word of, of God says that we are. Greater is he, the Christ that lives within us, than he that lives within the world. Oh, I'm excited, people. I'm excited about the God that we serve. Amen. And so I just want to uh, share a couple more things with you. God, you know, has given us on this earth management and stewardship responsibility of the things that he's created. All those things that are in our sphere of influence. All right. So there are some things that God let us touch. And that might be in the way of a job. It might, might be in the way of a business. It might be finances, it might be some land, it might be a house, car, or whatever that situation is. But we have some things that are in our sphere of influence. And God says, hey, I want you to manage those things. And I want you to provide godly stewardship over those things. Why? Because I want to build my kingdom and I want to build it through you. I want to extend my kingdom through you. All right, so we have some kingdom responsibilities. There's a God, there's a kingdom economics unlike man's economic system. Why? Because man's economic system says, hey, get all you can get. Get all you can get. Just, hey, get it, get it, hoard it, whatever you got to do. Just get it. Go get it. Go get that money. Get that money. All right. But God's system says, give. Why? Because that's his nature. 
His nature is giving. You know, God gave his life for us. He gave his life for us. So because his nature is given, our nature is giving. And so we can't take on man's economic system. We have to take on God's economic system. And it becomes very apparent in times like this when the world has no clue as to what to do. They don't know what to do from a health perspective. And they don't have a whole lot of tools now to use from an economic perspective to make things work. Oh, they're doing the best that they can. I understand that. But God has some economic tools from his kingdom economic perspective that we're to use. And, and God says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together and running over. I'm not trying to get nothing from you, but I'm trying to tell, tell you and teach you some principles that's going to not, uh, not only help you survive, but thrive in this new season. There's an other side to this coronavirus. And I'm telling you, if you position yourself, if you listen to the voice of God, God says, if you acknowledge me, I will direct your path. You got to believe that. He, he's not just saying idle words. He mean it. He mean it. He mean it. If you acknowledge him, he will direct your path. But how many know we have a choice? Oh, we have a choice. You know, I've heard um, some people I know, even some of my um, good friends, even some of my classmates, you know, uh, they make fun about, um, you know, you don't have to be a giver. You don't have to be a tither. You don't have to be all those kind of things. But I tell you what, um, you know, you can uh, implement man system and think you're going to be okay. That's you. Do you. That's fine. But for those kingdom sons and daughters that know what the word says and you really believe the word, and, 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 and you know the benefits of being a kingdom son and a kingdom daughter and following the principle, principles of God and God's economic system, I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. When God gives you creative ideas, you know, you know there was a, 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 a woman in, in the Bible that uh, she was in a really bad situation. I mean, really tough spot. As a matter of fact, she was... Um, uh, in the process of uh, baking her, her last uh, little cake for her and her son, and they were just going to eat this cake and, and, and die. Uh, but they seen the man of God, and the man of God says, um, hey, before you do that, hey, I want you to give me a piece of this cake, and I really want you to take care of me. I want you to give, give to me. And I'm sure she probably looked at him like, you know, do you have no compassion for me? But he really did have compassion. Because he was really trying to get her head in another direction. And because he didn't want her to kill herself. Long story short, she provided that meal uh, for uh, the man of God, a prophet of God. And, and, and what God did, he gave her, he said, hey, what do you got? What, what, what do you have? Hey, I don't have nothing but this little cruise of oil and, you know, uh, this situation. Man, God gave, gave a supernatural idea of how she could sustain herself in a business to sustain or her family, take care of all the situations that she need that would extend on to the, into the next, gener next generation. Why, why do I say that? Why, why is that important for what we're going to, through today? Because God does not just give us ideas uh, biblically, you know, in the Bible. Okay, God gives us supernatural ideas even today. You know, it, God says, there's a reason he say, hey, if you acknowledge me, I direct your path. Okay, if, if you acknowledge me, if you listen to what I'm saying, because God is always speaking. That's why I'm always looking. I'm riding down the road. Lord, what are you saying? What do you want me to see? Even that which others cannot see. What do you want, what do you want to tell me? All right, I want to understand the situation. I want to understand the signs of the times. What are you showing me? What do you want me to see? Okay, and I, and I encourage you, Wherever you go, ask the Lord, Lord, I'm acknowledging you. What are you, what are you showing me? What do you want me to, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to see? Because in, in times like these, somebody is losing and somebody's winning. 
somebody's going down and somebody's going up. That's just the way things happen. Okay. And we have compassion for them, but God has a plan. You know, um, as a result of, of, of what's going on with this coronavirus situation, there are going to be businesses and people that are not going to make it. Sad to say. My, hearts go, my heart go out to them. My heart goes out to those businesses. But there are going to be businesses um, that are going to go bankrupt. That's just, it, it's going to happen. And they might have been teetering uh, on bankruptcy prior to the coronavirus. And this is going to push them right over the cliff. Okay. Um, but for those that are sensitive to hear the voice of God, God will show you. And, but you have to be in position. God will show you how to um, position yourself. And be ready when these opportunities present themselves because there are going to be individuals that will just literally give you those businesses. I, I, I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. Uh, there'll be those that are given for 10 cents on the dollar. There'll be those that for the uh, amount that, uh, that you could buy the inventory, they are giving you the business because they're going to walk away. And, and, you know, 10 cents on the dollar is going to be better than than just, just leaving it. Uh, and so we got to be in position. We got to be in position. We got to hear the voice of God. All right, so number one, be in position. Hear the voice of God. Do what you hear him say for you to do. And then we have to look for ways, look for opportunities. We have to look for ways. How can we serve our fellow man. How can we serve? Right now, what's the big thing? People are, are you know, kind of tied to their homes and, you know, uh, might be tired of cooking and so forth. And they really want a, a good home, a, a, I say good, a caveat, a good home cooked meal. And, and there are many of you that you really have some excellent uh, culinary skills. You, you can really throw down in the kitchen. Uh, wouldn't it be nice for you to at a price, deliver food to someone that's looking for a home cooked, a good home cooked meal. Good home cooked meal. And we'll pay the price for that. Okay. So we need to look for opportunities to serve. Look for those opportunities. Uh, there are products that people, as a result of this coronavirus situation, there's there are going to be products that are. Uh, might be different, but we're going to ask, have to ask God what what products are going to be uh, uh, more highly sought after in this next season that we're going into. What business ventures uh, uh, will be the product of this next environment, this next season that we're going into? And see, many of those uh, businesses. You got to check your vision and purpose out because many of these businesses will be in line with the purpose that God has given you. And you'll be able to walk right on in and, and, and take over that situation. And that's what God will use to prepare you to the next level and help you build the kingdom of God. This stuff is, is really um, is good stuff. I'm telling you, it works. It works. Kingdom economics work you know um when joseph was going through his situation and uh god gave him a couple dreams and he told his brothers about the dreams and uh, they weren't very happy about the dreams they even told his dad his dad wasn't happy about the dream but because he was a man of god he took note of it okay and you know even when joseph got the dream he didn't know that he would have to uh, uh have some pit duty in other words, he would get, get he would be thrown into a pit. All right. Well, this coronavirus situation is like being thrown in a pit. Okay. But how many know that Joseph knew that God had given him a vision and a purpose? So even though he was in the pit, he knew that God had a greater purpose. And even in that pit duty, God must have had a purpose, and he did. Okay. And so he went from that uh, to being uh, taken out of the pit and being a slave. Okay. Man, many of us 
uh, we're looking for our 40 acres of mule right now because we, we've been slaves or our people, our, our ancestors have been slaves, okay? But it doesn't stop there. And so he wound up in Potiphar's house, okay? And, he, you know, he, everywhere he went, he had learned from his, his, his previous experiences and he, con he continued to get elevated, continued to get elevated. Why? Because God had a purpose for his life and God always uh, positioned him for favor to take place. And in Potiphar's house, he, he, he was elevated, okay? And then uh, he must have been a pretty attractive uh, a young man because Potiphar's wife kept looking at him. And finally, she d devised a, a, a scheme where um, she wanted Joseph to sleep with her. And because he refused to sleep with her, she um, accused him of uh, taking advantage of her, which, which, which was a lie. However, it wound up him being put in jail. OK, but how many know when the favor of God is on you, you know, the favor of God is on you. So he wind up running to jail. OK. And so from running to jail, um, you know, because, he, you know, he, 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 he could do things that others in the jail could not do. He had that kind of mindset. Because, why? Because God had given him a vision and a purpose for his life. OK. So in the jail, he wind up, um, you know, interpreting a dream. You know, for the for for the baker and uh, interpreting another dream for the for the cupbearer, and you know those dreams, um, you know they they came to pass, and he was able to interpret those dreams. Well, you know, one of the uh, individuals, uh, it was kind of the end of the road for him, but the other one went to the to the king's house, and a couple years later, he realized uh, that hey. When the king had a dream and was unable to interpret that dream, Pharaoh, um, he remembered Joseph. How I many know God give you favor? And so some years later, he remembers Joseph and Joseph goes from jail or from a coronavirus situation. And within 24 hours, he's in from jail all the way to the palace. And now he's in the palace all dressed and he's interpreting Pharaoh's dream. OK, and with uh, understanding Pharaoh's dream, and because this is a man of vision, a man of a purpose, a man of uh, 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 you know uh, uh, tenacity, and and always landing on his feet despite the situation, always keeping a positive attitude. Pharaoh said, "Hey, you know, since you've made the interpretation, God has given you that information. God must want you to be the person that's uh, that's going to be second in command." And you know, Joseph at that po at that moment became the second in command only uh only uh to to pharaoh okay and pharaoh also gave him uh, gave him his daughter a, as a wife you know gave him new uh transportation you know uh probably been a rose ross or mercedes Benz, whatever the situation for that time you know clothes and everything that he needed okay but joseph was able to maneuver him through that coronavirus uh drought in a uh, situation that, that they would go through because he said, hey, they're going to be seven years of plenty and they're going to be seven years of drought. There are some things that we got to do, okay, to, uh, to you know, to, to get ready for this. Well, I, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, we are going through a season where um, it's going to be very challenging for the next two to three years. It's going to be very, very challenging. A lot of people, as I said before, are going to lose their businesses. Things are going to happen. Uh, that's not going to look so good. But how many know if, if if we listen to and, and hear the voice of God, God is going to direct us. He's going to guide us and he's going to position us to uh, not only uh, get through this, but thrive through it and, and thrive on the other side of this because there is another side. All right. So what I'm encouraging you, you to do is listen, hear the voice of God, seek him, acknowledge him in everything that you do. And I always ask God, Lord, what are you showing me? What do you want me to do? How do you want me to position myself? All right. So me and my family and all those that I know will be able to uh, thrive on the other side of this thing, because I'm telling you, God has some answers. OK. And so that doesn't mean that that you don't take advantage of, uh, you know, the $3.2 trillion uh, government bailout that's available. Hey, you do whatever you got to do. Continue to work if you're able to work. But then you you may have to look at some side hustles. Whatever you your situation, you do that, okay? 
Uh, but also look for witty inventions, look for new ideas, new products, new services, okay, because God has a plan, okay? Uh, and, you know, help your help your brothers and sisters, help them be able to see, you know, you, you know, you know, I, I walk every, uh, well, really about five days a week, and I, I walk at Lowe's, even now I got mask on and everything, and there was a young lady, um, you know, just came up to me, and I got my mask on, you know, I'm just doing my thing, I try not to uh, really have any contact, stay my six feet, and she came up to me and said, you know, I, I, she, and she knows I'm a pastor, and she said, uh, I won't, uh, I, I need you, I need you right now, I mean, she was like desperate, I, I need you to lay hands on me and pray for me, oh, no, I'm serious, I need you to lay hands and pray for me, I need you to lay hands and pray for me, and I'm like, you know, but how many know, um, you know, in moments like this, the world is just, they're, 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 they're in tight spots. They don't know what to do. They, they, they're, they're clueless and they're hurting and, and they want some guidance. And so, the, you know, I, 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 right there where I was, right in the store and right in the midst of the store by the cash registers, I wind up, I didn't lay hands on them, but how many know I, I pray for her right then because I don't have to lay hands on them. It's not about me. It's about the Christ within me. So I pray for her right there, you know, and I, and I spoke uh, over her life, you know, and told her, let her know that, hey, you will live and not die. Okay. All will be well with you. Okay. And so uh, I, I think God has given us more and more opportunities like that because people are hurting. They're running scared. They don't know God, they don't have that intimate relationship with the Christ that you know. So we got to reflect the kingdom of God in all that we do. We got to let the Christ in us be seen. Let it be seen. Let it be seen. And make a difference. Let the big God that you serve make a difference. Let it reflect in the earth. Others will be drawn unto you. It, others will be able to uh, to know Christ as a result of the light that so shines within you. God says, "Hey, if if you you know, um, if, if if you lift him up, he would draw all men, all women, boys and girls, unto himself." So we have to lift up the name of Jesus. Again, this is Dr. Leon McCray. I hope I've been a blessing to you. I hope I've uh, said some words of encouragement. I do want to encourage you. And I do believe this. I believe and I, I and I, I wish above all things that you, and I do mean you, that you're prosperous, that you be in health, even as your soul prospers. If you um, have got some uh, insight, uh, got some encouragement uh, from this video, I encourage you to go ahead and like, like it. Uh, subscribe to it. It's very important to me. Um, you know, share it with someone. Maybe I could be an encouragement to someone else. But uh, I, I, I do want you to be blessed. Stay tuned. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing videos like this quite often. I want to give you some high to, how to's. And I really want to not only encourage you, but I want to see you position to not only get through this, but to thrive on the other side because there is an other side to this coronavirus and I'm going to leave you with this it's my desire that you get through this in a much better position financially and even health wise than when you started and entered this coronavirus situation God bless you, you be encouraged God is on the throne Amen